Yo, what's up, boys, and welcome to my first video on Day of Infamy. My Fuhr is tall. I don't even think we're Germans right now, but. Oh my god! I just thought I'd include that clip at the start because I felt like I was a real cutie. Like, when I was someone fanboy reacting in the game, not it's a big surprise because most adults don't really go, like, oh my god, it's X and Y. But, uh, yeah, we get a bit excited and call me PSI Syndicate. Like, that's not even my username. Like, what the fuck is that? But yeah, anyway, the fortunate background is with Dave Infamy. This game just came out a few days ago. It was a mod originally for Infamy, which I made a video on. And then I did also make a video on a standalone game to show off all the weapons and stuff. I think about a month ago, the video didn't get too much interest because it was literally just a video of me saying, Whoa, look at this weapon from World War II. Look at how cool it is. But this is some gameplay, which I took earlier today, which it starts off with an MP40 on a map I've never played before. I really like this map on like kind of a conquest game mode. And then later on, you'll see some footage on the famous D-Day map with the... Um, scoped sniper bull action. I don't know which bull action sniper it actually is, but yeah, you'll see it later on either way. Anyway, the topic which I wanted to talk about in this video, I don't normally do like uh, post commentary shit, but I feel like it's something which is kind of important for you guys to know, or not important for you to know, but many people have asked about it. And it's also on the theme of what happened in World War II. I mean, it's nothing to do with what happened in World War II, but basically, you can see we're probably invading a country which isn't ours. Um, I am also invading a country which isn't mine. It's called America. I'm, I'm, I'm still in America. And that's a topic for, for the for the video. Is that like, I don't know if that's, is it too, is it too soon? Maybe it's too soon. Either way, it's an ongoing situation and something which I think has been a decent excuse for why content and streams and shit have been really like, um, not too well communicated on what the fuck's going on with them, random YouTube breaks, random Twitch breaks, um, and hopefully those things can all come to an end soon. Doesn't necessarily mean I'm gonna be going back to my full-time Twitch, it wasn't full-time, it was free streams a fucking week for five hours, but, you know, my slightly full-time Twitch schedule and, you know, three videos a day, two videos a day, or whatever, but it does mean I should be able to come to some kind of consistent upload, maybe streaming, um, schedule, which will be... It'll be the first time in a long time since I'm actually gonna have one of those. It's been so long since I've done regular Twitch streams um, because of those reasons. Because I've been moving backwards and forwards between America and England and I've been uh, talking to lawyers and stuff and trying to work out some way of, you know, staying somewhere which I'd like to live permanently or at least um, for a longer period than three months in a row. So a lot of you guys won't follow me on Twitter and maybe you won't just care but, you know, there's some dank gameplay in the background so, you know, stick around for that gameplay, man. Um, but that's obviously what I'm talking about in this video, about what's going on with that, and why it might be over now, kind of. So if you guys know legalities with America, and not being an actual citizen there, you can only stay for three months in a row as a tourist, which is what I entered America as, and then I left the country for a bit of time, and then came back again for three months, so that's pretty much what I've done for like a year and a half now. But either way, I've been in America for a large portion of this year. And during that time, I've worked out, well, I've tried to work out ways to stay there, like I said, permanently, whether it's through work or whatever else, talking lawyers, and just to work out um, some kind of logical path which you can follow. And then, obviously, it's going to cost money. That's a big part of it. So it is going to cost money, but uh, just a logical path to follow to allow me to stay more than three months in a row. It doesn't have to be something permanent, it doesn't have to be something crazy, but just something which allows me to stay somewhere and call it home. Because that's kind of a reason why I haven't like made this setup maybe as nice as I could do and made like, whoa, look at this gaming setup to it guys, it's got 50 monitors. No, I really want that, but a large part of that is because I haven't really wanted to pimp out somewhere where I don't know if I'm going to be living there in a few months, you know? It makes sense, I think. Also, yeah, you can see the footage in the background of the uh, Sniper. Uh, this game, of course, was originally a mod for Insurgency, like I said, and the reason that game was so awesome... It, it, I mean, it's because the gunplay is good, but look at the scope, it's, just, it's so nice. But yeah, anyway, um, after talking to a lawyer very recently, I've worked out a logical plan to go along with, and it'll cost money and it'll take time, but it does mean that I should be able to stay in America. If I go through this, maybe I won't, I don't, I don't know what's going on right now. It's still like an in-between kind of thing, but it's a path which I can follow, which I'm able to do. It's within legalities of America and shit, um, and will allow me to, to do that. So that's kind of why the videos have been a bit lacking in the past few days. I mean, it's not really the best excuse ever. I could just do both at the same time, but it's been a stressful situation for the longest time. Um, not knowing where you're going to live in a year's time, like you can imagine that, just going back and forth. You could just say, well, fuck off and stay in England. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to just abandon people you know and s somewhere where you've invested a lot of time and money into and just say, oh yeah, I'm just going to go back in England. So maybe I just should have now came to America in the first place and done all those things, but I have. So that's the reason why I don't really like the idea of fucking off and going back to England. 
And because living in somewhere where you're not originally from, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. So it's fun. But yeah, how exactly I'm doing all of that stuff? Well, I'll be a mystery for a while, um, but it should be pretty much sorted out now. I know a lot of you guys don't follow me on Twitter and shit, or even if you do follow me on Twitter, maybe you missed it. It's like I removed everyone on my Steam list all day, and everyone's like, why did you remove me? You know, so it's like even if I actively tell people on a Steam announcement why everyone was removed, because I wanted to re-add everyone, people still miss it. So, yeah, that's something which I know I talked about a few months ago, I think of my, my, green, heart, my green card hype video order. That's after I talked to a lawyer then, and things have like changed between now and then, and that's why I talked to another lawyer a few days ago, but that's, um... That's the, that's the overall thing, you know, and that means a big decision. Do I throw a bunch of money into somewhere and live in America uh, and work out all this paperwork, or do I just fuck off back to England? Like, it's still a decision I've got to make, but um, it is, like I said in that video as well, a dream to be able to live in a wonderful place such as America. Doesn't mean I'm tied down to Austin, Texas, as great as this place is, and how nutty the fucking internet speeds is, or even, but um, anywhere in America, really, that's cool. So for your entertainment purposes, I will have a straw poll in the description below. This will also be a really good uh, way of working out how many people even watch my videos and how many people look at the descriptions and shit. But there will be a straw poll in the description if you guys want to go and vote. And uh, you're not going to determine what's going to happen to me, but I'm curious as to what people think about that whole thing. Is it right to stay in America or is it right to stay in England? You know, you gotta, you gotta think of pros and cons. Like, there's pros and cons to everything in life, and it's another thing which has a lot of pros and cons, which, which you know, I, I can't list them all in the video, but you can imagine what a lot of them are. Speaking of descriptions, did you guys know that my $2,000 knife giveaway is ending in six days? Yeah, it is, so go enter it. Link in the description. Anyway, I hope that pretty much explains my situation, my living situation, I guess you could call it. Um, I think a lot of you guys already know bad, but here's the those who don't already. And it doesn't mean now I'm going to be consistent with videos, now I'm going to be consistent with streams or whatever. It still could go south. Um, I've got things to do and it's complicated and I can't go into details. So if I like disappear for six months and then come back and be like, please watch my YouTube videos, like that could happen. It's unlikely, but just if there's un inconsistent uh, uploads or whatever, that's pretty much the reason why. Anyway, I actually lied a bit earlier on about the gameplay. There's actually two more maps, which I'm going to be showing you guys. This, of course, being the DD one. Check out that headshot right there. Um, but I did want to briefly talk about Dave and me and how I felt about it in this video. If you guys watched my recent Battlefield 1 video, I did say there was a lack of World War 1 and World War 2 shooters in the gaming industry as a whole. We used to be, like, spammed back in the Call of Duty 2 days. But since then, there just really hasn't been anyone, at least from the top of my head, that's really been decent. Um, Insurgency plus a World War 2... Uh, theme I feel is really good. The gunplay in Insurgency is like no other. It runs good. It's a source engine. One shot, one kill. Feels good to shoot people, man. Well, it's really, really good. The next map, which you'll see in a few seconds, is um, Italy, Sicily. Um, not using a sniper anymore. Using a semi or I think it's a gear right here. And then the fourth map, it's a secret, but it's a snowy map and it's really cool. But, what do I think of it as a whole? I mean, I just said, you know, it was lacking it in the industry, and this fills that void, and of course when Battlefield 1 comes out as well, this will kind of keep you happy, I guess, between now and then, although there are different eras, World War 1 versus World, World War 2 are very different. But, um, yeah, I feel like there's a decent amount of stuff added in this game to make it worthy to go from a mod to a standalone game. Obviously, it costs like $15 or whatever. Um, you've got the airstrikes, new UIs, a bunch of new weapons and stuff. It still does feel a bit weird just not having all of the sights and shit, which you get in Insurgency and feeling the awesome 3D scopes that you've got on that. And I do prefer Insurgency in a few ways. But if you're a big World War II fan, or not fan, oh yeah, I'm a fan of fucking Hitler, dude. A big, um... I guess it works. A big fan of a history of World War II. This game is definitely one to to pick up. Um, you'll see a quick bazooka rocket jump right here. It was pretty not ETBH. Um, so yeah, it gets my thumbs up. But uh, fifty dollars for this. I don't know. Go play the modern insurgency if you've got it, and you'll realize it isn't really that different to to the full game right here. But with every day, it is a lot of uh, time and effort, which has been put in to add all of these grenades, launchers, machine guns. There is multiple machine guns and stuff like that in the game. So I'd say um, it's maybe worth it. Also, check out that fucking one tap. Holy shit, I'm amazing. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Make sure to check out the straw poll and the giveaway in the description below. I'm sorry for my inconsistent uploads. My subscriber count is just, it's fallen down. Oh, not my subscriber count. I'm not fucking DJ Meme Star, but like my subscriber growth rate has fell down since I made my expose video. You know, it's my channel's dead now, but people still watch my videos, so I'll keep making them. And that's, that's pretty much all I'm at, right? And also since I stopped making these videos, since I kind of didn't see your point, but uh, what would you guys like to see on my channel in the future? I'm, I'm curious because I have tried out a few different things, and I know I've said this over and over again, but we are going to find ourselves in a place one day which doesn't focus on armor. As much as I love armor, it's probably going to happen. I just don't know what game it's going to be. Um, there were some games I'm really excited for, but I forgot what it was now. 
It's coming out really soon. Oh yeah, fucking Escape from Tarkov comes out in like, in in a day. It's gonna cost $140 for me to get alpha access into that, but I don't know if it's an NDA or not. If there is, it's gonna be removed eventually. So Escape from Tarkov coming out very fucking soon. That's that's really exciting. Who knows? Like that could do something for my channel. Maybe not. I'll just stick with armor. I guess that seems to work. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, check out the links in the description in the comment section below. Hopefully, you guys are understanding of my situation. You know, this isn't fucking dingled up by coming back to Twitter and saying, I'm sorry for. Uh, well, whatever. My point is, my drama's not as bad as that shit. No, anyone gives a fuck about the drama now, it's over. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all good stuff. Um, I don't know why I play this game like I do play Overwatch. Just press AD, AD, and hope for something to happen, because you know what happens? Your head gets popped. And anyway, I'll see you guys next time.